Dinar's Secret, First Chapter, The Higher School of Magic On a high hill surrounded by thick woods, there rises a high castle with numerous little stone towers and a huge wide gate, always open for any wonder. This castle is half hidden by cirrus clouds, and it's hard to see how tall it is. In this castle, there are hundreds of offices and rooms, thousands of passages and corridors. This is the wizard's high school of magic. Near the entrance to the huge castle, high towers of which were hidden in mist, there were two figures. Come on, go! The young man pushed the woman closer to the entrance, but the latter took her time. She cast a glance at the carved doors, wide steps, quietly stealing up to the doors, spiral stairs, leading into the mist and shivered. Maybe I should just go home, she muttered. You may not, the man said firmly and accompanied the girl into the castle. As soon as the two found themselves in the hall, the fair-haired woman could not help crying out with delight. The ceiling was so high. It lost somewhere far above their heads. Shadows from hundreds of candles were dancing on the walls of live images of animals, people, trees. The young man stopped and was watching the girl's delighted face, smiling. I told you, it is so. Magical. I know. Let's go. The two walked past the half-open doors into some small hall, and the girl heard hundreds of voices ringing in laughter. But the man was already going up the stairs, and the young woman hurried to keep up with him before he turned the corner into the long, dark corridor. The third bend to the right, the second one to the left, left again, right, no, left. The woman lost count. Where are we going? she asked. You'll know soon. I wonder if I can memorize one day which stairs and which corridor leads to, she thought. Come in here, the man said. Kevin, maybe I... The girl smiled guiltily when she saw that the man screwed up his eyes. Come on, he knocked. Open the door without waiting to be invited. Push the girl into the room and close the door behind her. Her heart beat faster and uneven. The girl was standing, pressing her back against the door. She couldn't understand she was, and was afraid to step forward. Come in. The girl flinched, but being able to control her agitation made her way into the office. In the middle of the room there were two tables, at which two women were sitting. One of them was a little older. She had long, dark hair and brown eyes, which were looking at the girl very attentively. The second woman was smiling. She had warm, friendly, blue eyes. How do you do? The entrant greeted the witches sitting at the table. She couldn't recognize her voice. It seemed several tones higher. The girl cleared her throat and continued. I came here too. To become a teacher at this school. The dark-haired witch finished the woman's sentence, finally smiling. Feldry D. Walls, Wizard's Custodian. And this is Curry Tessa Antones, my colleague. Celesta Storm, nice to meet you, the girl smiled. Felderly waved her wand, which she had been holding in her hands since the moment. Celesta had entered the room. A piece of paper appeared on the table. First, let's deal with the formality, Celesta nodded. The paper on the table disappeared suddenly, and it cropped up in the girl's hand. She looked through the questions, then waved her wand, and filled in form was lying on the custodian's table. Squinting, Felderly was studying the form, then handed it to Curry. The girls exchanged meaningful glances. Celesta was silent, standing still. What an interesting choice. The subject has never been taught at our school before, has it, Tess? No, but the subject is definitely fascinating. Curry smiled. Do not forget to like, share, and comment to be continued.